Hello, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of September the 30th up until October the 6th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. Without Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my beautiful Aquas. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my beautiful Aquas. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my beautiful Aquas are here seeking to find. Oh my God, communication. Okay, so... I do sense here that there is going to be a time in the coming week for you guys to gain some kind of clarity in your psyche that will lead you to have to or need to say something, communicate something, okay, something of that sort. So there's a lot of clarity coming into your situation after feeling stuck like in, inside like this unresolved paradox of, of a situation. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for all of those pre-reading messages. What else do we have for Aquas this week? What do we have for Aquas? What do we have for Aquas this week, please? Okay, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates, okay? And this can also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements. If those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. For you cross watchers, welcome, welcome. You can switch the energies, reverse the energies. Everyone can switch and reverse the energies if you feel that it resonates better that way, okay? So also one more thing. This can relate to family members, friends, work situations, any type of um, energy that you're currently dealing with. Sometimes my guides and my angels just want to send out a message and it doesn't necessarily have to do or is related to romantic love. It, it is for the most part, but it does not have to be. So if it resonates more with maybe a situation that's going on at home, maybe with family, with friends, etc., then take it as it resonates. So keep an open mind. I know that you aquas are very open-minded by nature. So let's go ahead and see. Aquas, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Oh my goodness. Again, I think you guys got this last week. If I remember correctly, I remember this one was in your reading last week. Okay. So some of you guys might still be dealing with the same energy. Okay. Because I do feel like there's this reoccurring energy of dealing with the same person okay there's like the same person a stolen energy but i do feel here that the energy is picking up little by little again there is a sense of wanting to communicate something wanting to say something wanting to you know just you want things to move forward you you are sick and tired of just having to wait okay and i do sense here just just by this one energy here there's a sense of some of you guys feel like you have already come out of a state of anxiety or feeling like you were stuck or losing your mind because look at this this is the the knight of wands this is ready to take action ready to move forward ready for something brand new pursuing your dreams pursuing your passions pursuing a person pursuing the love of your life whatever it is someone here is ready to go forward to come forward to come forward with some kind of an offer with some, with some kind of movement forward some kind of maybe just clarity if you just want clarity maybe you're asking for clarity maybe you're coming in to give clarity whatever it is let's 
see what's going on here in your energy. Yeah, so right underneath here, someone was rejected in the past. Either you felt this energy of rejection or maybe you rejected this person that you are dealing with, but there's this energy here of unfinished business with someone that feels kind of like a missed opportunity. So this person feels like you are a missed opportunity or aquas, I feel here that for some of you guys, yeah, you guys feel like this person is a missed opportunity. Okay, so what I'm getting right off the bat here is that in this situation, whatever it is, a workplace, you know, situation, maybe a uh, love relationship, family, whatever it is, I do sense here that there was... Um, there was a lot of movement forward when you guys first met. Yeah, there was a lot of movement forward when you guys first met. It, it was like you guys met each other. It, you felt mutual, like mutually. It was like the spark of joy, the spark of, oh my God, you're my person. You are the one. You are my dream job. You are whatever. You know, it's like you kind you it, it kind of like you felt like you were in alignment with one another, right? And I do sense here that as fast as it started, that's how soon it ended. But it's keeping you guys stuck because there's this energy here of not wanting to rock the boat, okay? Somebody here has been avoiding direct conversation, a direct kind of communication, okay? Trying to make a decision because it's sort of like that energy of like, okay, well, this person, the last time I spoke to them, they came, they came across as a little bit cold, whether you're telling yourself this or you're telling them this or whatever, but there's one person that feels like, it's like you guys are mirroring one another at this point, okay? there's It's like you guys are trying to control the situation from the outside, which is hilarious to see, when in reality, the universe has its hand at play, but you guys are both blocking this energy because it's like you, Aquarius, you don't want to get your feelings hurt, right? You don't want to look foolish. You don't want to look dumb, which is completely understandable if this person has already rejected you in the past. And I also understand their part because they kind of are coming from this energy of like, okay, well, yes, I want to compromise with Aquarius, but I want to compromise with them um, and uh, in the way where they make me feel safe. Does that make sense? It's sort of like... Um, Yes, I feel that a lot of you guys have given this person the space of time in order for them to open up to you. But I feel here that Aquarius, you have been going about it in a way that is um, unfamiliar to this person. Okay. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's unfamiliar. Okay. So the approach that you have been taking that you are telling yourself, well, you know what? Some of you guys are saying, well, I have already tried. I've already tried with this person. I've already tried to communicate my feelings and my emotions. But if you are real with yourself, okay, Aquarius, I feel that you really haven't, okay? I feel here that you really haven't because this has become a little bit of a toxic situation here because someone is unwilling to disclose their full emotions the way that they should be open. Like, okay, if you say that you have already tried with this person, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you've maybe sent out a few messages maybe a few phone calls, but if you really go back into your subconscious and ask yourself, have I really opened up emotionally? I feel like the majority of you haven't because of what I'm seeing here. I'm picking up on the, the energy where your person wants you to really be truly genuine with yourself and therefore you will communicate that safe space that they are asking for on a subconscious level. Does that make sense? So like I said, um, you know, I see here that you're feeling good. You're feeling really good. You're feeling like you just are coming out of this phase of fogginess and you know you're coming across this energy I feel here for some of you guys it's the same energy for others of you guys maybe it's a brand new person if it's a brand new person just understand that this brand new person needs for you to communicate clearly they want for you to communicate in in um in a more open genuine um just unrestricted kind of way is the word it's unrestricted right where you know within yourself that you are not restricting yourself restricting yourself excuse me it's like okay well i'm going to say it this way because if i say it this way says aquarius or your person whoever it is remember energies can be reversed you know if i say it this way then um I won't be too vulnerable if they end up not um, responding the way that I want them to respond. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like, let me see if I can get an example. So like, say for example, if you send out a text message and you say, hey, so um, what are you doing this weekend, right? And the person responds like, oh, well, I'm not sure yet. And you really, in honest, 
and, and honestly, uh, uh, excuse me, in all honesty, you really want to say, hey, do you want to hang out, right? But instead of saying, hey, do you want to hang out, you're saying like, hey, so what are you doing this weekend, right? So that in case this person, you know, ends up saying they, can, they can't uh, hang out with you, you won't feel a sense of rejection. Does that make sense? So they really want to hear direct communication from you. Like, hey, do you want to hang out this weekend? I would love to see you. Does that make sense? So, but that for either Aquarius or your person, whoever I'm talking about whoever this person is it's like you're putting your heart on the line right it's like you don't want to be too vulnerable or you know there's this other um, energy coming across where if you send out a text message and if you ask a question like hey so what are you up to right and you leave out a question mark because if you leave out a question mark this is kind of like a little childish but if you leave out a question mark whoever this person is <laughs> Okay. If you leave out a question mark, you kind of feel less vulnerable. Like you're not, okay, well, you know what? If they don't respond to my text message, I left out a question mark. So that means that I'm safe. I'm in safe ground. I'm in safe territory. That means that, you know what? If they don't respond, then it's okay because it's not like I'm asking a direct question anyway. I, I omitted the question mark. Does that make sense? So that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up on, but let's go ahead and jump into your clarifiers. Again, somebody feels like there's a missed opportunity in the situation, and it has taken a long, long time for you guys to get to this energy of, um, of, of, of reciprocity, of equal reciprocity. And I feel here that, uh, Aquarius, you will be given a chance this week to really tap into the energy of the King of Wands, okay? This is basically a very, very self-confident energy. This is a personality type that is extremely confident. They don't care whether, the, you know, okay, basically they, they don't uh, see any form of miscommunication as being rejected. They just go for what they want, period. Does that make sense? It's like they don't omit question marks. And in fact, this person will put like 10 question marks because they want an answer. They want an answer and they want it right now. And usually they get what they want. So this is very, very confident energy here. But I do feel here that there's one person trying to control the um, the exterior, you know, by by means of, again, of, of not communicating clearly and therefore really causing quite the opposite um, uh, by default. Does that make sense? By default, instead of, instead of this person, whoever's trying to control um, the situation, okay, um, like by means of not communicating clearly in order to not get hurt, it's like you're only creating more toxicity, whoever this is, whoever I'm talking to. Maybe I'm talking to your person, Aquarius. Maybe I'm not talking to you, okay? But just always remember, you know, there's always, there, you're going to have always a sense of, there's a sense of accountability that I feel that you guys have to partake in this week. But let's go ahead and see what this uh, Knight of Wands is for Aquarius. What is this Knight of Wands? Again, oh my God, I literally cannot make this up. You, This is unfinished business. I mean, I'm telling you guys right now, if this is a new person, okay, this could possibly be a brand new person. For those of you who are manifesting a brand new person, I feel here that this brand new person will come about to fulfill your wishes that you that were not fulfilled with the person from your past, okay? This will be the missed opportunity, the missed sort of like... um. It's kind of like your wishes being granted, your wishes being fulfilled, but you're going to have to stay away. You're going to have to pay attention because it's coming in very, very quickly. You guys are going to start tapping into the energies, the, the bold, confident energies of the magician, okay? And once you tap into these energies, Aquarius, it's going to start moving very, very quickly for you. So do be aware, you know, once you start manifesting, once you start asking the universe for what you want, it's going to be granted. It's going to be delivered. If it's this person that you want in your life, they are going to come your way, okay? If it's a brand new person they're going to come your way and you're going to feel a sense of like oh my god this is all everything i've ever wanted right because it's sort of like a missed opportunity with someone from your past but it's like it's being renewed by new energy by a new person right so i do feel here that you know there's like this sense of you guys going back and forth in terms of communication communication is going to be key this week so you guys are getting to know each other on a very kind of um silent kind of through um excuse me 5d level right so i do sense here that it's more important what you guys um don't say 
uh, to each other than what you do say. So do I do sense here that you're going to have to kind of like um, understand that there is a deeper meaning to what this person is telling you or this person, you know, needs to kind of wake up if you are trying to communicate in a subliminal way, you know, where again, there's like superficial communication, something being said, uh, you know, just it's like work, work out what's being said. In other words, right? If the person is omitting a, a question mark, perhaps, you know, there's this energy of fear, right? Like um, they don't really want to um, put their heart on the line, etc. right? But there's this energy here where both of you guys feel that there is this energy more important in silence. There's more depth in silence. Does that make sense? It's like there's more depth in what is not being said than what is being said, right? There's more... Um, there's more answers in what is not being spoken, what is not being said, what's being omitted than what you guys are actually telling each other. Because I feel here that there is very, very superficial communication. Whatever has been communicated, there's still a very big pink elephant in the room that both of you guys are resisting because there's, there's a lot of resistance here, okay? It's like not wanting to put your heart on the line because you feel here that you're gonna get your heart broken or whatever. Maybe this is what they feel, okay? But there's one energy here that is a little bit hesitant to communicating what their heart truly desires. So um, let's go ahead and see. I wanna know what this tower moment is. What is this tower moment in the reverse for aquas? Yeah, see, again, oh my God, there's one person here that does not feel confident enough. Maybe you guys felt left out in the cold before, and so that's why you feel like you have to hold back your emotions because you don't wanna get hurt again, whether this is you or them. I don't know who I'm talking to here. You guys know. But I do sense here that someone here has to take, um, it's like the sense of accountability. You are, it's like um, you have to understand that in order to, to have any kind of healthy relationship, because this has kind of become unhealthy, right? Here with the devil, it's already become very toxic. Um, it's like almost an obsession. I feel here that either you, Aqua, are very obsessed about this person. It's become an obsession because they are, they're not really opening up to you or they feel that you have become an obsession or it's a mutual thing, okay? But there's like this obsessive energy going on here, okay? Um, and I do sense here that it has to do with one person having the confidence, the other one having the lack of confidence. So again, in order for you to have any kind of healthy relationship and get rid of all of this toxicity or all of this kind of obsessive energy that is not healthy, uh, you have to have a sense of accountability. Basically, you know, there's this part that you have to understand that you have also played in this situation for it to become this way. Because look at this, this is two people. This is not just one person being involved in this obsessive kind of, you know, um, uh, toxic energy. Okay. It's two people. So it takes two to tango. That's all, that's all I'm saying. So I feel here that you guys are, are going to start allowing, allowing more of that little voice within yourself to tap into your psyche so that it can come out. Right. So I feel here that some of you will hear it and some of you won't. Some of you guys are still not ready for it. Some of you guys are just not ready for it. And that's okay. It's okay. It's not your time. But for those of you who are ready to take accountability for whatever it is that you, you know, the part that you have played in this, I feel here that you, it will help you release fear. Okay. This will help you or this person release some kind of fear that you have with not being able to trust yourself, not being able to trust people, not able, not being able to trust the unknown process. Right. Because I feel here that, you know, this fear is kind of getting in the way this, this kind of like fear of being left out in the cold, fear of, of, you know, this person ignoring you, this fear of, abandonment issues, whatever. There's this fear that's coming up here that you have, um, you have to pay attention to. And, you know, fear is sort of like, um, it's just imagination being used, um, or being misused. In other words, being misused. Okay. So again, I do sense here that this is not about the person. Okay. I feel that at least not this week, you're going to start to realize that this is not about the person. This is about you. This is about, understanding, okay, well, what part have I played in this? What part have I, how have I been communicating with this person? Um, so that, you know, because this is just not coming together. I mean, I just, I want this to come together because the potential is definitely there. Otherwise these wouldn't be there. Right. 
the potential for healing, the potential for, you know, yes, I see patience, patience is here, you know, and uh, the potential is here for this to come into a beautiful union. But the reason why this is in the reverse is because someone is resisting change, uh, whether it's you or them. It's sort of like, um, it's also picking up on the energy of being a little bit rebellious, right? It's like, Aquarius, you do have a rebellious streak just by nature, okay? Which I love that about Aquarius because you guys you guys kind of like like to go against the norm and that's why and how you guys break through barriers, uh, societal norms, right? And you guys create like brand new timelines, which I absolutely love about Aquarius. But, you know, in this situation, I feel here that you have to understand like, okay, sometimes going against uh, the norm is not always going to work out in your favor, right? Sometimes there are phases, there are times, there are moments when you kind of have to abide by certain standards, right? Um, I'm not saying like, you know, abide by this person's rules, no, but just kind of like go with the flow a little bit and then present yourself as yourself. Does that make sense? So that just so that you can kind of open the gate so that you can open communication, right? It's that kind of sense of like, okay, well, let's let's open communication in a brand new way, in a more in a more open kind of way. Because I do see here, okay, some of you guys, let's see, some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. I see Capricorn here. I see Sagittarius. I see Taurus. There's a lot of signs showing up here. I see Aries, any of the uh, fire signs, any of the earth signs, air signs. I see all of the signs across the board. And yes, the universe has its hand at play. But Let's go ahead and clarify one more. Let's see. I want to know what this devil is all about. What is this little devil? What is this little devil here? Yeah, see, someone has to open up emotionally. I mean, you literally, there's somebody here that has to open up emotionally. I feel like both of you guys are sitting at home thinking about each other. Okay, you guys have created this codependent kind of energy towards each other. It could be even on an energetic level, okay? There's a sense of codependency uh, that you guys have with one another, which has, has already become a little bit toxic because one person uh, needs to open up emotionally. Now, I do see here that, you know, there's a difference between it's not that you should never depend on another person because of course it takes two to build a relationship but there's a difference between an interdependent relationship and a codependent relationship a codependent relationship typically leads to this to the devil energy okay an interdependent relationship is with is when both parties are feeling comfortable in their own energy, they're feeling confident about themselves, and they can open themselves up to communicating at a very healthy level. They don't feel a fear that, oh, this person's gonna walk away. They don't have the fear within them that this person's gonna leave them, right? But I do feel here that your person, I sense here that they have a lot going on right now. They have a lot going on right now. Maybe they have a lot of responsibilities, but I do sense here that there's this energy telling your person, yes, put in the work, yes, jump in, yes, do, you know, do this, do that. But I feel here that they're coming across as kind of like a little bit new to this. I feel here that your energy, again, like I said, it's unfamiliar to them. The way that you've approached them is unfamiliar. They don't recognize it. And uh, I feel here that you're dealing with a person that has, uh, they kind of, they're used to dealing with a certain type of relationships and uh, coming across your energy. That's why you guys are so attracted to one another. Excuse me. I feel like you guys are opposing energies attracting one another. And I do feel that your person feels a very special bond towards you. And that's why they want to start putting in the work, putting in the effort. And I do feel here that once you start opening up more Aquarius, your person will have the courage to also release their fears, face their denial and jump in this thing with you. Okay. Whatever a relationship, a job, whatever. But I do feel here that right now your person is a little bit afraid to take that next step okay so in order for you to make them feel comfortable only you know what you've been doing and what you need to change in your energy i'm not saying that this is your fault i'm just saying it takes two to tango okay that's all i'm saying now i also am picking up on the energy where your person is going to need a little bit more time to figure this out okay they're gonna need just more time. I feel here, you know, just this being here, it just, it, they need a little bit more time. And I do sense here that there's a part of them that just wants to jump in, but they need to feel safe, okay? So let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you. What do my guides and angels have for my beautiful Aquarius? Let's see. Clairsentience. Yeah. So see, you guys have to tap into your 
intuition okay it's like that intuit that intuitive part of you aquarius that is so it's so expansive i mean once you guys tap into that energy of clairsentience of psychic energy of you know maybe you guys have been communicating with this person on a telepathic level okay once you tap into that energy you're gonna feel a sense of safety you're gonna feel a sense of trusting the process okay so i feel here that you guys have to get in touch with this in order to open up emotionally look at this this is an open heart do you see how that beautiful light that star is right in the middle you guys have a chance and opportunity to open up your heart, to open up to, to this brand new reality so that you guys can take this to a new timeline, a new timeline of equal reciprocity because I feel here that you guys both want it. I mean, it's very, very apparent. You guys both want this connection. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings, Aquarius, as they signify divine guidance. So stay in tune, stay in touch with this energy and look at this at the bottom of the deck. Take back your power, okay? Okay. For those, for those of you that are not feeling too confident in yourselves, okay, maybe this was you that I was talking to, who knows, maybe it's your person, it's time for you to take back your power. It's time for you to start believing in yourself again. It's time for you to stop allowing fear, some thoughts, fear, some emotions to take over your energy. I feel here that for some of you guys, you know, at one point you guys felt like you were already coming out of a state of anxiety or are feeling like you are coming out of a state of anxiety, like I told you at the beginning, but I feel here that during this time you guys are going to or have found your soul you have found yourself you have found this other part of you that is more in tune with who you are instead of using your mind always to analyze things i feel here that you guys are just tuning into your psychic energies to your intuition and you guys are being guided you guys are allowing yourself to be guided into the unknown i feel here that you guys are becoming a little bit more comfortable with the unknown more so now than before okay which is absolutely beautiful beautiful i'm just gonna read this one out to you use your god-given power aquarius and intention to manifest blessings in your life i told you you guys are ready to manifest so be aware of your manifestations because i feel like they're going to come in very very quickly congratulations what else do we have here as a guidance message wow shower of abundance this could be in any form of abundance it could be abundance of love abundance of money abundance of whatever it is that you guys have been asking for but you guys are tapping into the powerful universal energies of source energy okay of these pure energies that basically manifest all of your dreams into a reality so i here we have shower of abundance to heal your financial situation or any situation your love situation first give us your worries concerning money love whatever we will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance as we work together your financial or love situation will heal as fast as you allow it this is what i have for you aquarius but i do hope that you enjoyed your reading i do hope that it resonated let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on i really love reading all of your stories believe me i read every single one of your messages thank you so so much for sharing that in your comments below if you did enjoy this reading please do give it a thumbs up it really helps to support me and my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform um, without further ado thank you so so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time bye bye